Hey YouTube, how's it going? Been a long time. Uh, as some people know, that I've, I've been doing this YouTube Creator Academy event that YouTube started last Monday. Uh, and I mostly need, and I was in it, and a lot of people have been asking me what I think of this. Uh, personally, I don't like it. I've only finished the first week. I have not done the next three courses. I plan to do that as I'm rendering this video out. I don't think I'll get much out of it. Maybe a little. I didn't get nothing out of the first week, to be completely honest. Uh, here, I'll run you through some of the things. First of all, the first week, I could have had all the videos in one and then called that a class. Or an academy. Oh, hell, just call it a class if you want to. Uh, there was a total of five videos. Longest video was a little less than five minutes. Let's assume that they're all five minutes. That's 25 minutes in length. That is actually less time than the average class. So, I'm just going to call them a class. And of course you had the introduction to the course. I figured that was going to be quick. I considered that more of a syllabus or whatever. Uh, subscribers and watch time, which pretty much went through how you're, you actually get your views. You get most of your views from your subscribers, and then people, either your subscribers shared them out, yada, yada, yada. Most of what I do is tutorials on basic computer help. So those mostly come in through searches. People have typed into either YouTube or Google search and went, uh, how to do this. Most of mine comes from Google searches, learn C Sharp. Then it goes into channel analytics. Of course, it didn't tell me anything I didn't already know. As an IT guy myself, I actually really learned how to read the analytics. So I didn't learn anything there. Though I did see some potential there, so if you don't know how to read analytics, you might learn something. I can't see exactly what, though, because they don't tell you anything. They show you a picture and describe a little bit along the side, and then ask you a bunch of questions about it. That one, I think, was extremely poorly handled. And then you go into lesson two. What makes a channel tick? And then it goes, the benefits of design, a lot, well, most YouTubers I know know the importance of this. And then under the hood, which, hey, of course each of these has assessments. I originally thought it was just me at first, because sometimes I don't pay that much attention to something. Uh, but... Turns out, I'm not the only one that thinks, that has noticed that the assessment tests have absolutely nothing to do with the previous portions. And I'll tell you this right now, I actually failed the first assessment. Um, not because I was trying or anything. I was just going, oh look, I'll just click this. I just decided I was going to click the top answer for each one just to see what it would do. but they allow you to go back, redo it, so. And then of course, number three, land, land your brand, which teaches you all about branding without teaching you anything about branding. It tells you the importance of branding. It goes a little bit into how to brand, but nothing on branding. At least, not that I noticed. I very well could be wrong, but I just took that before I shot this video. Well, retook it. And of course, I have to laugh. I've started putting crap in the activity answers. I don't think they're reading this because there's like thousands of people enrolled. The way they presented this in the email to me was it was going to be for a select audience. So I thought it was going to be for a select audience. Um, of course, you know, some of my fellow YouTubers, at least from Michigan, were also invited into this. 
that the fellow YouTubers I know are actually bigger than I am and a little more active than I am. So I just figured, oh, okay, well, there they go. Turns out a lot of people were invited. I'm just going to go straight off of the headlines. I haven't even glimpsed at all into any of the second week. Number four, building, I'm sorry, number four is rock solid building blocks. Um, branding bling. I'm hoping that has something good in there. But to be perfectly honest, just Google search brand yourself. You'll probably find a whole lot better information from the 12 year old doing a YouTube video than you will from some of this stuff that I've noticed. Branding checklists and impressions. I'm actually reading a list on my phone. Some of it's a little hard to read. Uh, I'm guessing they're going to say create a good channel banner, create a good channel trailer. See, most of this is on the YouTube One channel that I've noticed. Course assessment. Number five, rock and roll. 5.1 is Tag Me Baby, which is probably going to teach you all about tags, which I've noticed is lacking lately. Even I have slack on tags. Of course, the assessment. And then number six is bringing it all together. Recipe for success and lasting effectiveness. And then you get the channel uh, assessment, chapter six assessment. And then there's apparently a final assessment. You know what you get after doing all this, which is actually not that time consuming? Uh, you get a little thing that says congratulations. It's a bit unusual for me. I, I actually thought I was going to learn something. Apparently eh, this was not much. If you did much research in, before you started the YouTube channel or even after, you'd find out a lot more than this actually provides. Alright, and sorry for the bad lighting. I'm shooting this at 3.30 in the morning. I've got one light source, which is right here, and it's a fluorescent light. And of course, I don't have the sunlight coming through the window or any other lights on down here. So, alright, until next time, have a good day.